Oh man, this is going to be so close. I can already tell the boys all busting the gut to get ahead of each other. Four of the fastest players in the game. This one could go down to the wire. All depends on how they turn here. Oh man, this is going to be super close. What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another speed test video. So today we're going to be going in, in depth, really scientific, if I do say so myself. And there's a lot of depth in this. There's a lot of talking points. We can see there that the dribbling player stats, the speed and acceleration player stats as well. Feel free to pause the video here and have a read through them. They're just what the, the, the game defines the stats and what they do. But we're not really going to be focusing too much because there's a lot in it, especially with stamina. But we're going to be racing a couple of the lads again and seeing different kind of ways. So this is a different test in the first video. If you've missed the first test, make sure and check out that first video that we did because this is slightly different. So we're going to be running from the D here on the defensive side, their own side of the pitch. We're going to be running the whole end of the pitch to the opposite D and we're going to be turning right on the line here and sprinting back. And when we get back to the six yard box where we started from, just a little bit past where we started from, when the ball passes the six yard box, that's going to be the winner so this is testing a little bit better obviously look it would be ideal to test the players without the ball as well and compare and have a big you know scientific uh, diagnosis of it but it's impossible really to test the players without the ball because you know there's so many factors that go into the speed of a player how much ground they cover now sterling is going to be one to keep an eye on look at his kind of core stats right compared to the likes of Mar Mares, right He's like different height, obviously. So the players that are going to rise to the top here is quite rightly, as you guys were saying in the comments of the first video, I didn't want to go too in depth in the first video in case that people weren't interested in videos like this, but because um, there's a lot of editing and testing and stuff in it to get the perfect runs. But you know, there is there is a lot of factors. So I've broken down as we saw here into speed, acceleration, dribbling, and then the height and the weight of the player. But you're also bringing in um, you know, you're also bringing in the way that the players move, their animation sets, their movement sets, their player dribbling style, all of that stu sort of stuff. So this is, again, this is a very good race here, as you can see here. Mbappe is probably prime uh, favorite to win this, but Sun keeps with him the whole way, like, way here. They're practically identical, and it's just one touch from Mbappe here that actually brings him ahead. But look how close that is. I mean, that is practically identical. Even though Sun's stats are not as good as Mbappe's, we're going to see a couple of races like that including this one here so this is kind of again you know you've got Haaland who's got 72 acceleration you've got Hakimi who's got dribbling 75 Haaland is obviously a big tall guy as well so you're probably thinking you know there's going to be a huge discrepancy between Mane and Haaland and Hakimi especially Hakimi being a, a, a right back but as you see here I mean Mane really comes into his own here when we get into the turning right you can see the turning here he's gone and he's gone away right whereas Haaland takes a little bit to get going again now Haaland is going again and he can like open up those strides but Mane is just a little bit ahead of him but again lads it's like it's so small in the difference don't let a player that's not got 90 plus speed in dream team like don't let that be a factor when you're deciding who to buy because there's so many factors that it comes into you don't need your attacking midfielder you know or your um, SS or center forward to be 90 plus speed. You know, he can get by with 84 speed if you know how to play with him and you know how to use him. Where I would recommend this video to be used uh, and utilized is if you are looking for a game-changing super sub or a game-changing winger that can come on in the 70th minute or else from the off. Like somebody like Adama, Sterling or Sana here, we're seeing a really good race here. This is like, this is the closest race of the game, lads. This is, I don't know, I might be, I might be, there could be a couple of conspiracy theories here because Adama might have feel a little bit aggrieved by, we're going to have to go to a photo finish here. But as you see here, it is Sterling that just gets ahead by a tiny, tiny fraction i think it was like literally a split second but um you know we could have thrown a damn it in as well it doesn't really make a difference but there's so many different factors when it comes into it and you will see in the guys that have won their races right so this is the final of the races you've got sterling you've got mbappe you've got mané they've all got 87 plus acceleration they've all got 86 plus speed they're dribbling i mean uh, sterling is the worst dribbling but he's also the lightest and he's also the smallest you know height wise so that will factor into the race as well um, and then also on top as well, lads, you know, you've got a lot of crazy and stupid stuff that happens online with latency and ping and, you know, connections and stuff like that. So, I mean, if you've got a player that you feel is fast for you and that you can turn on a dime, 
you know, Neymar is a, is a lot slower stat wise, but his movement and dribbling on the pitch is probably better than all of these guys. You know, he's just OP. So we do have Sterling rounding it off here in what looked to be a little bit more of a landslide um, of a victory. But, you know, again, we could race these guys again. You could do this in training mode yourself and you could get Mbappe winning. It all depends on how quick you're able to turn them, you know, and I try to keep it as fair as possible. It was like hold um, from the get go. It was hold the sprint button for I think it was four seconds or five seconds until they had to turn then let it go and turn but you can see here again like com the comparison between the players this is something i'd like to see a little bit more expanded upon because obviously things speed up online as well i would like to see you know the likes of adama Traore, the likes of ansu fatty have a little bit more about them coming to the fore when they're doing little dribbles like this, you know, like so sprint, then we're going to stop, we're going to stop and pop, we're going to turn, we're going to change direction, we're going to change direction while we're sprinting and we're going to go again. But when you look at the likes of somebody like Umtiti, who's a centre back and he's got like 71 or 61 dribbling and like, you know, 70 pace or something like that compared to Ansu Fati or Adama Traore, like there isn't enough of a difference there in my opinion that would be like, oh man, Umtiti is unplayable. I just would not be able to bring the ball forward with him so yeah lads look it's a bit of a different video obviously keep the feedback coming in to sum it up i think this video will be uh, be suitable for somebody especially if you guys are looking to utilize like a winger you know like where you're just looking for speed i personally think after doing a load of tests and stuff i think if a player has 90 acceleration or you know even 88 speed or a mixture of that what we saw with Mane there or sterling and they've got dribbling. You know, I always talk about the holy trinity of stats when you're looking at a speedster. You need dribbling, you need speed, and you need acceleration. And, you know, a lot of people were saying in the first video, if you haven't checked that out, in the comments below, and they were dead right with that. You know what I mean? That's what you need. You need the dribbling, you need the speed, and you need to be able to burst past, you know, string a couple of flicks and tricks along the way. Um, because, listen, the majority of us and the majority of people that play online are going to utilize the one, two triangles. They're going to use a stop and go. They're going to be utilizing like a lot of quick accelerated uh, sprints. So yeah, factor that into with uh, whatever way you are playing and uh, see how it goes. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. Let me know if you enjoy these videos. Maybe I can go back into a little bit more detail with like um, defensive speed and, and awareness and stuff like that. If you'd like to see me break down videos like that and let me know a bit of feedback on the video if you enjoyed it. If you thought it was a load of shite, let me know. Um, um, and we will go from there. So yeah. All right, lads, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Talk to you in a bit.